You think this is the moment to get drunk, idiot? Heck, there's medicine, Crasco. Recommended to me this morning by our friend, the doctor here. Leave him alone. Without a little stimulant, Donovan doesn't do his best work. Hmm? Once more, we don't have time to argue. Don't overdo it. Let's have some light over here. This little thing. <laughs> Ain't no woman in this whole world. Got so many tickly spots as you got, honey. You're beautiful. What is he trying to do, anyhow? Open it or make love to him? No distractions. We want him to concentrate. Uh, stethoscope. Stethoscope. Mm. Doctor? Excuse me. <clears throat> now then, gently. Counterclockwise. Counterclockwise once again. Now hold it. Just a touch. Fine. A little more. That's it. And now clockwise. Slowly. More. Little more. Yeah, just just a little more. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Easy now. Just a little. Should be about there. Yeah. Doctor? Hmm? Hmm? Someone, I guess 
hours are from 9 to 12. And only in the office, stupid. Miguel, take his gun. <laughs> For shame, a doctor carrying a weapon, huh? <laughs> hey, 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 muchachos. Allow me to introduce my gang, amigos. La banda de Carrasco. Oh, it's a real pleasure. Mm -hmm. I thought you would appreciate the gesture. This is Don, my brother. That's for the others. Well, the others, they are all just sons of the bitch. Like you. Uh -huh. Bring up those bags. You didn't, I think, I was very intelligent, did you? Huh? I hope you're struck by lightning. <laughs> Careful what you say, gringo. I do not like these kind of jokes. Whack it! Come on, hurry up there! We don't have all night! Come on! Vamos! Vamos! Animals! Wait, bring the horses to the steps. <laughs> Every last bag heavy. Tie them on the horses. And make sure the biggest goes on my horse. Heavy. You, Ulueta, help me get Well, dear doctor, it's time for us to say goodbye. I am touched by your kindness. And I advise you in the future to be less trustful, no? And I hope you will try to drink less, Donovan. It'll be sad to see you lose your magic. I don't know about women, but there is no one better than you with a combination. A caballo! Where do you think you're going? They'll shoot you like a stray dog. They just gave us. I don't want to get another one in the street. What the hell did you do that for? You want to give us bad luck? Oh, yeah. 
acted like a couple of chickens. No. Nope. No, Donovan. Uh, we acted like philosophers. We we did? Uh-huh. Like true philosophers. Willpower is a difficult uh, virtue to maintain, my friend. Well, I don't understand what you're saying. All I know is I'm powerful ashamed right now. Ashamed? What's that? Only a word. Nothing more than a word. A simple convention. You know, Donovan, in life, you not only have to know how to lose, but when to lose. Under the circumstances tonight, it was best that we lose. So what? So we lost. Uh, tough luck. But I guarantee you, one day, Carrasco will fall into our hands, and then it'll be our turn to take him. Then it'll... It'll be his tough luck. You see, everything in life is in equilibrium. Like a pendulum. What the hell are you doing? Uh, what the hell does it look like? Don't be stupid, Donovan. Get down from there. I gotta do one thing right. Come on. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Ah, quit. After all this time together, you're going to break up our partnership. Yeah, but what do we have to show for it? I mean, shoot. I don't know. Tonight, I'd sort of been hoping this would maybe be a nice haul and I'd be able to retire. Only now, and all the big plans I made together with my son to go to California and all, I'm going to face him now. He's going to look at me and call me what I knew I... What I know I've always been, <laughs> failure. Look, life isn't just going out and winning. It's not important. Well, neither is losing. Doc, will you just go? I feel like sulking. Okay, Donovan. So long, friend. Out of the way. Hefe! Farmer. Hefe! Astro! What is he doing? Who is he? Miguel! Let me in! You have to get out of here. They are. They are looking for. Helsin de Guadalupe. That woman is no virgin, idiot. Now, what's going on? Everyone is after us, Heffy. The news is going around like the brush fire. Half the sheriffs of the state are on the way over here. The sheriffs of Crown City, Louisville, and even Little Town. Go tell Doug. Come on, get moving. We leave now. <laughs> Go to Guadalupe and get your own virgin. Oh, see, see, Heffy. Doug. It's Miguel, the up dog. I'm doing. Dog, open up. Hey, <laughs> little brother, that's no sense of humor so early in the morning. <laughs> he wouldn't have it even less if he's in there when the log gets here. And if my brother is captured, you will die. <laughs> you will stay here until his hangover is gone, see? See, <laughs> Heffy. And then you two will meet us down on the beach. And that's where we meet you. Yeah. Dog! <laughs> Miserable drunkard. I wish someone would start alcohol and animals quickly. No sign of anyone. Two place away for that. The last one in is a humping me. <laughs>
Carrasco. Ryder, he looks like Miguel. He did. He's, I think he's hurt. Where is he? Where is dog? What happened, Miguel? That bastard of a brother of yours got caught. But it wasn't my fault. He was still in love with his girl. And the posse really caught him. We really passed out. I, I tried to... Where are they taking him? I tried to warn the idiot. Uh, but he wouldn't listen to me, Heffy. I overheard him say he would be taken to Crown City to be tried and hanged. Stomp bastard. Carlos, a dog now. Oh, I would not deserve the name Carrasco to let them hang my own brother. I got I am it. matter? How the hell should I know, Gus, sir? He's been going at it for the past four hours now. Well, I better round up the sheriff. He's down to the barber shop. Oh, doggone it all! Don't you ever shop in that? Yeah. Well, with all due respect, Sheriff Appleton, it's not my fault if your beard is tougher than the hairs on the mule's rear end. Yes, sir. What's the matter there, Gus? There's something wrong with Doug. I think maybe he's got epilepsy. Oh, that hell, that's all just a big act. Maybe, but if he goes on like that, we may wind up trying a dead man. Oh, all right. Let's go find the doc. It's any interest to you. I studied medicine for a while. In Texas, criminals are hanged, not guillotined. Texas. Savages. Go round up Dr. Barnard. He's on a binge again. Uh, he just got off a binge. You know how Jethro is, Sheriff. Anyways, he won't come out of it for another week. I'd like to know who the pig-headed fool was that got him going and break his neck. Matter of fact, you did, Sheriff. You cleaned him out last night at poker, if you recall. Hmm. Hey, Sheriff, there's another doc in town arrived yesterday. No kidding. He's over to Harry's, and if he's as sharp as he is with a billiard cue, he can bet he's one heck of a sawbones. my last $20, and I'm glad I don't have any more. A stroke of luck. Yeah, seems to me you've had quite a few lucky strokes the last half hour. It's all up to the wheels of fortune, my friend. Dr. Janus? You addressing me? Are you Dr. Janus? Well, it's true my name is Janus Saxon, but that part about being a doctor is a matter of discussion, my good man. Well, you discuss it with the sheriff. It's him that wants you. Well, I'm sure, gentlemen, there's certainly some mistake, or, or it's against the law to play billiards around here. No, we have a sick prisoner over at the jail. Is that reason enough? Sure, certainly. We'll go right now. Drink. Huh? Hey, leave some for me. Shall we? Yeah, let's. Ah! 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 
Yeah, that's him, all right. Big bad dog. I'm like a puppy right now. Yeah. Something I'd like to tell you, Sheriff. I can't practice. They, uh, they scratched me off the medical list. Sure, I know. I know. However, that hasn't stopped you from treating more than one outlaw on the run, Doctor. Now then, you can damn well treat one that's locked up as a favor to me. Now they're going to hang this fellow. And it's my responsibility till then to see nothing happens to him. You realize you're asking me to perform an unlawful act. You, a representative of the law. Come on, boy, don't play the fool with me. Tell me what he's got, and if there's anything you can do for him, or I'll start remembering how you win at billiards. Sheriff, that's blackmail. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, all right. I'll see what I can do. Well, now, you just tell me where it hurts, my son. Here? No. Here? No. Here. Well, cute appendicitis. I need lots of hot water, bandages, alcohol, and a sharp knife. Uh, better yet, get that razor from that barber friend of yours. Of course, none of this is going to do a damn bit of good without a lot of help from the good Lord. And you better get me a bottle of whiskey. Yeah, you'll get it all, including the whiskey. And make it a good brand. Hmm. I see. Well, you heard what he needs. Go find it. Leave us alone, Sheriff. I don't like company when I'm operating. Just don't forget I want him alive. If not, you'll hang in his place. Get it? Well, I'll do my best, Sheriff. How long before you'll be fit to travel? Ten minutes, he'll be cut, carved, and sewn back up. After that, you can do what you want with him. Yeah. Boy, fate certainly is surprising, isn't it? You son of a bitch. Right now, your life is in my hands. How much do you think it's worth, huh? No answer, eh? Now, let's say it's worth all the gold you and your brother Carrasco stole from us. Where's it hidden? Where you will never find it, butchering gringo. All I have to do is to cut about two inches away from where I meant to cut. I am not frightened by your threats. You, <gasps> you cut me. Tell me where it's hidden. Bastardo! Tell me. It is underneath of a big stone in the caves of the Apache. The stone is too heavy for one man. You need someone helping, then it's not a... Uh... Okay. Now grit your teeth and pray to your saints, if you have any. I'll try not to hurt you. Too much. Ah! Bastardo! <laughs> Okay. Don't get mad. Who are you? Okay. You proved your point. You're a hell of a shot. Now, would you mind telling me who you are? My name is Donovan. Well, howdy there. <laughs> The only Donovan I know stands two hands taller than you. He has a mustache, and he speaks all slurred from whiskey, and his eyes are blue, boy. 
Oh, he might have the same kind of soul that you have, but that's all. He was my pa. What do you mean, was? He's no longer here? Uh, he was skinny but strong. Not even whiskey could finish him off. It was a half a pound of lead. Who was it? I don't know, but they all had stars. Better drink fast before it runs out the holes you put in it. Tell me, you know these mountains? Uh, I grew up around here. Hmm. Interesting. I came here to propose a business deal to your father. But I suppose one Donovan is just as uh, good as another. That's rotten coffee you make. What deal are you setting on? Gold, boy. Carrasco. Hmm. You wear the same old brand as my pa did. Got pure crazy writ all over you. Sure ain't worth the bother. When do we start? Right now. She's ever hear about stairs. Wait here. Leverage. Now grab that pole over there. See if we can move this. around here. Yeah. What a dang thing. Yeah, I knew it. But we had to follow through. How you could ever believe, dog, I'll never know. Patient. We're not finished yet. Like my father used to tell me. Son, if you learn patience, half the battle's won.
Three more hours out to Louisville. You know the city, Sheriff? Uh-huh. Oh, she's a lily buster. Twelve saloons never shut down. Uh, yep. Yeah. The last time I was in Louisville, I took in every one of them. Time we stretched Bill Todd. Quite a problem. He was a mite too skinny for me to hang him proper, old Bill. Uh, you see, if you don't have the weight, why, sometimes the vertebrae, it don't break in the snap. But I tied some horseshoes around his middle hand. Zack! And from the look on his face, I knew Bill was grateful. Oh, dog won't give you no problem, Mike. It's delivering him, what I'm worried about. Well, well, I'd like to know what the hell that vulture's doing here. The talisman. Walter Scott's a good writer. Yes. I adore it. Are you, uh, going to Louisville? Yes, I'm... I'm a reporter for the Boston Times. Ah, then you're going to cover the uh, ceremony tomorrow, I guess, huh? Oh, well, it's not my cup of tea, exactly, but uh, a paper has to satisfy the reader's curiosity. Yes, of course. Um, and, uh... Me? Well, I do a lot of travel. I'm in... I'm in business. Um, exportation. Here, ice cold beer to wet your whistles. Bring it right here, boy. How about you, sir? Why, of course, boy. What do you think? I ain't got a whistle, too? <laughs> yes, sir. Howdy, miss. Well, fancy meeting you. Going to Louisville? That's right, Sheriff. Why, I wouldn't want to miss the big show. Would you care for a drink, ma'am? Yes, thanks. Yeah. No refreshment better than a cold beer. Those are for my deputy. Beers you've got left out, Janet. Oh, I never drink beer at this hour. Never drink it much at any hour. Allow me. Whoops. You let it drop on purpose. Did I? Uh, Look at those uh, two. <laughs> what did you put? You murdered them. No, they'll just sleep a couple of hours. And the other one? Mm-hmm. So will they. I guess you work for Carrasco. You said it, but don't write it. I don't need the publicity. <coughs> Gracias, amigo. I will reward you. Oh, wait. From the floor there, eh? Now, they could wake up any second. So, come on, let's get. <laughs> he has wonderful ideas, my brother Carrasco. Eh? Yeah, he sure does. Go get the horses. Your brother doesn't have the faintest idea. <laughs> now, what was it you said was in the Apache caves, huh? <laughs> Can't quite remember, huh? <laughs> Put him on your horse. Okay. Get him up here. Yeah. He's there. Okay. Okay. One. Yep. Two. Okay. Three. <laughs> Where are we going? Don't wear out your brain. We still got a long road to travel. How do you two think you are going to explain this when my brother catches up with you? Carrasco? Huh. He's already in Louisville helping the hangman set up the gallows for you. You wish, but it's not true. Oh, yeah? Why should he save you or waste time following us? Because we are brothers, of course. <laughs> Carrasco would step over your mother's dead body and those of all the men who might have been your father to keep all the gold. When you're hanging from the gallows, he'll be twice as rich. And who knows anything about the gold? <laughs> Reasoning with you gives me a headache. But I've got a lot of patience, and I'll get the truth out of you. Be sure of that. Stop here, Lou. You, get off. Uh, 
Come on. As a doctor, I have to think of your health. I mean, after being cooped up and operated on and all, you need a change. Lou, I'm placing him in your hands now. What's the idea? Here, a little running. It'll do a man a world of good. Mm hmm. Now, I'm going to Louisville. I plan to finish an old game of billiards there. You take him to the place where we first met, all right? Mm hmm. And you watch him now, you understand? Don't take your eyes off him for a minute. <laughs> He's all the capital we got. I'll take good care of him. And don't listen to him, no, no matter what he says. Yeah. Thank you. It's a madhouse around here. Where's everybody running with all their guns? What is there, a holdup going on? Uh, no, they're getting together a posse to go after Carrasco. Seems he set his brother free from the escort that was bringing him here for hanging. Hmm. Did he read it? Yeah, God's truth. My family and I were expecting a lovely holiday tomorrow. And now, just a minute. You all wait right here. To think that neither of my children have ever seen a real honest and good execution. It leaves me speechless. Cancel our reservation. Is Come it on, true that tomorrow's hanging's been reset for four well, in the sir, afternoon? I hope so. It all depends on if the prisoner is recaptured on time or not. Ah, I see. Thanks. Uh, good morning. I'm Miss Pash. I have a yes. reservation. Welcome to Louisville, Miss Pash. I hope you have a nice stay. Well, it seems that everyone else wants to get out of Louisville. Uh, don't even mention it to me, Miss Posh. This place was packed 15 minutes ago. Everyone waiting for what would have been the hanging of the century, and then all of a sudden... All of a sudden, the condemned goes and ruins your best bookings in years yeah. by not showing up for the party. What a pity. Uh, There you go, miss. Here you are. Thank you, miss. Hola, Chirueca. <laughs> I thought we'd agreed that you would come in at dawn. You're running a big risk by exposing yourself in a town as hostile as this. Calm down, Mother Hen. I only did it for us to be together. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> did uh, all go well with the bank in Mexico? No, perfectly. It's never uh, very difficult for a woman. Here are the, the receipts if you want to see them. $25,000 safely tucked away. Mm. Go on, count them. <laughs> Only they're much safer with me for now. They're all in your name, of course, but this time we're going back to Mexico together, aren't we? Now that Dog is free. Dog is free? Oh, go on, you must be kidding. Everybody in Louisville is talking about it, and you really mean to tell me you know nothing? Well, you don't understand. There's a reason I am here to break out Dog. But weren't he wasn't one of your men? Yeah, I came along, though. The man who took your brother. I don't know how he was able to manage it, though, because, you see, he didn't do a thing. No killing, no hold-up or anything. But all of a sudden, the sheriff and his whole party went down as if they'd been drugged or something. Then your brother, Dog... And... Dog? Yes, he rode off together with the man and with this youngster. Well, which hombre? What was his name, huh? Janice Baxson. Oh. It's not my fault I was positive he worked for you. There are a whole bunch, as a matter of fact, 14 reward sheets for the man among my countrywide collection. A dirty bastard of a cross-eyed vulture. I don't know where he is now. Well, it could be he's here in Louisville. Hmm. Deborah, listen to me. Three days from now, I will meet you at the Posada del Gallo. Now, you'll be there, understand? Yeah, sure. 
Hey. How come you know the vulture is in Louisville? I don't know. It's just a hunch, that's all. <laughs> well, no matter what town he's in, Janice is easy to find. He's eating locals out of their bank rolls. Hmm. Well, guess you won. Just the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. Yeah. Hey, hey you. That's right, amigo, you. Let me show you why you lost the game just now. Uh, uh. <laughs> mm -hmm. What a friend. <laughs> All tricks have their Achilles heel, just like my special billiard ball. I must apologize to you publicly, sir, and of course give you back your $20. <laughs> <laughs> oh, muchachos! We'll take care of him personally. Vamos todos! <laughs> so honorably helps you steal. Donovan is dead. And you will be soon. So you should not uh, be worried about it anymore. Oh, no. If I don't return, in three hours, your brother will hang. Not as spectacularly as planned, but he'll be just as dead. A little trade, huh? Uh -huh. You give me the gold, and I'll give you your brother. I never met a gringo who played so dirty. <laughs> Look who's talking. He said, Bagan. He's the millstone tied around my neck. A stupid idiot. He has not got a hundred part of the brain I have. But I'm not just going to let him die. He's my own skin and blood. You must give me three days, not three hours. In three days, I will meet you at the Posada del Gallo. Well, you have heard one hair of Dog's head, mio gringo amigo. You better have star praying. All right. I'll be there if you will. Uh, little bush? Ah, oh, come on, like the doctor said, it's healthy. Anyway, I want to make it there by nightfall. I mean, if we're not there when he arrives, what'll Janice think of us? Huh? You have made a deal with that bastard, huh? All that matters to you, friend, is we have to get there by night. So, let's go. Just a minute, gringo. I will make you an offer. Listen, I will buy my freedom by leading you to the gold. We'll split it between us. I ain't making deals with you. Start walking. No, wait! Sixty percent? I already told you, I'm not interested. Are you sure? Hmm, sure I am. I'm sure. As you prefer. If you do not want to be rich, start walking. track of a beautiful woman. In that state? It kind of looks as if you've had a run-in with the covered wagon. Uh, yes. Well, on the other hand, you should see the covered wagon. Uh, where are we going? We? Oui. What sort of gentleman are you? Do you always pursue ladies into the bathroom? Mm -hmm.
You're not only rude, but indiscreet as well. I would like to get to know you better. Did you hear me? I said I'd like to know you better. How about taking dinner with me tonight? Deborah? Deborah? Untie me. Tell me, how do I know this ain't a trap or something? You don't. Either you have what trust you or you can go to... Who are you? Ramon, don't you know me any longer? Huh? Oh, now I do. How are you, hombre? I am glad you remember. <laughs> Tell me, where is my brother? In Louisville. Isn't he with you? No, idiot. I came by a different road. How many of you are here now? Only two, me and Manolo. Manolo! Quick, follow me. They're on the back. In there? What do you think? Now we will find out if what your friend said is true or not. If my brother has really double-crossed me, then he will have removed the gold, no? Are you going to go in or not? The bracelets. They're coming off now or we don't go on. A bargain is a bargain. Half the gold in trade for my freedom. Over here. Light the lamp, partner. Let's see if you are rich, huh? Yes, the gold is here, in this vase. In the vase. Look at it. A fortune just for me and you. Me and you. I don't see anything. <laughs> you wanted the gold, eh? It's all yours. <laughs>
Hey, come here. Come here, quick. Who's that column there? Yeah, yeah, twist it to the left. Hurry, dumbbell. Who are you? Don't ask stupid questions. Twist that damn column and then help me carry all this gold out of here. Huh? G gold? Yeah, bird brain, gold. Twist the column. Go on. <laughs> You really mean it. Come on, see for yourself if there's gold or not. Where? Sure. Look in there. Uh. Help! Want everything. Come on. Greedy. following me on a bicycle oh, I before. wasn't Eddie, following I... you. I never run after the same woman twice. Where does it hurt? Oh, let me go. Oh, when? Uh, 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 me? After all, I'm a doctor. Here. Just twist it. Uh, Look, stop uh, pretending you're hurt, will you? There's nothing broken. Give me your pity. No! Well, if I have to, you could at least turn around. All right, I'll turn around. 
I always get your kind. Oh, the luck. Here. Oh. Hmm. Have a drink. Uh. Hey, careful. That's expensive whiskey. Now, let me explain. I'm going to give that left leg a real tight tourniquet. So you be a good little girl, or I'll have to tie you up. <laughs> How do you feel? Uh, rather silly. Well, you're a lot less silly than you want me to believe. Hmm? What am I then? Yeah. Well, if you're a reporter, then I'm president of the United States. <laughs> All right. You're not the president. So? So, it seems I've been double-crossed, believe it or not, by none other than my young partner. Ah, you mean the young man who distributed the, uh, with the That's the one. But if he has found the gold, he won't get far. Unless. Unless? If we two became partners, a woman, a beautiful woman is always useful. One plus one equals eleven. What makes you think that I'd be a good partner? Well, for one thing, your excellent rapport with the Bank of Mexico. Those receipts. You don't go all the way down there to put peanuts into a bank. And are you the doctor, you say? Boston. Ten years ago. I got a diploma. Inscribed on top was a Nude woman with a book in her hand. <laughs> strange. What's so strange? Oh, a uh, woman with a pair of scales, justice. Woman who's blindfolded is luck. And a woman with a red garter is a whore. <laughs> <sighs> Where are you going to sleep? Oh, anywhere's fine for me. Well, it already feels nippy out. So? Uh, well, if you want, there's plenty of room for you in the bag here. And anyway, it's so hard for me to go to sleep without somebody there to warm my feet. You're very funny, you know. Good morning, Dr. Janice. Well, well, you know, even upside down, you're still very beautiful. Thank you. Look, I'm awfully sorry, but uh, you see, as a, a witness, you were becoming too dangerous. Wait a minute. You can't leave me like this. Huh? <laughs> well, better this way than to find you were shot with your own gun. Anyhow, I wanted to give you a fair chance. The knife. Uh, uh, huh? If you're uh, strong and able, you'll get free. Oh. Sooner or later. Only by then, Doctor, the gold and I will be far, far away and out of your reach forever. Adios. You, you regret this. Deborah, damn it all. You're going to regret this. Not at all. 
She could have put it further away. Oh, I feel ridiculous. What happened to you? I ought to kick your ass. Oh, I'd love to see you try dangling from that tree the way you were. What did happen to you? Women. Never trust a woman. Not them or anyone else, neither. You were 100% right about a dog. Double crossing rat. Well, did you at least find out where the gold is? Sure, dog took me there. Only Carrasco's double crossed him. And we're all playing each other off against each other. Oh, how I wish I'd stuck to playing billiards. <laughs> Don't let it beat you down. That gold exists. And if Carrasco wants all of it, uh, well, he's got to be keeping it somewhere. Yeah. In hell. Hurry on, muchachos. I need a bigger fire. Anda, anda. I have to have it so hot it would make the devil sweat. All right, I'm the laziest gang in the West. You, you know who I was once. I was the greatest foundryman in all Mexico. It was I who cast the Virgin of Fresno. And the doors in the bank of the family are out. Carrasco, that's what made him. Hey, muchachos. Carrasco has forced the doors of a bank. Get down there, go on. A cannonball could not go through those doors. Hey, I made the doors for them. And those senores, what did they do? They slammed those doors in my face. And I, gracious of a slave, gave them doors of bronze to protect their silver and gold. And I tell you, hey, watch out for the stone there. Careful. Oh, I began to think about those bronze stores in the bank. And it wasn't long before I came to understand that the rich are very few, you see, and the poor are more numerous than ants in an anthill. So I went to the rich and I said, here I am. I'm not stupid. I want my piece of cake, too. And do you want to know what they answered? The rich say, you are a poor man, and a poor man you must remain. The sweets are only for us. The gold and silver is better off in our hand. As for you and the other peones, you'll be satisfied with what you got. And what do you say then? Nothing. Talking was a waste of time. I took a slice of cake, and I decided to always take what I wanted whenever I wanted to, without begging anyone, without saying anything. Not even to your own brother? Huh? Hermano! Hey, son of a bitch! <laughs> Hola! <laughs> hey, this is the happiest day of my life. <laughs> and the last one, too, brother. Hermano, what happened? What has got into you? You thought they would hang me, brother, didn't you? Uh. Ah! Dog. Doug. Doug. You, you were worse than all of them. But you never would have shot your own brother. Never. Never. Anna, caballo! Okay, you, you work a little. Oh, I'm all sore, Janice. All right, then. We walk. <laughs> uh, Modern you. Thank you. 
What the hell was that? Let's go have a look. Looks like we just had a war. You wait here. Sure smell of Carrasco. Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> Real hospitable people. If this is how they are with water, I'd hate to see the way they are with whiskey. <laughs> Blow your brains out. Now, who are you? What do you want here? Easy, friend. I know a man has to be careful, but you're overdoing it a bit, aren't you? Around here, trust a man is a dead man. If you two are looking for lodging, two bits a night each. All right. But first you tell me where that lady is who arrived in that carriage. What are you talking about? I'll explain mm. later. Well, that dollar will do. Come on, I'll show you your room. I don't like renting rooms to folks I don't know, but you fellas look straight enough for me to make an exception. You can have this room right here. Ah, I prefer that one. Just a moment, that room up there is occupied. Now wait, you. You can't go in there. Didn't you hear me, mister? There's somebody in that room. Yeah, he heard you now. Get! Amor de mi vida. Love of your life. My ass. You, where is that beast ever? She did this to me. <laughs> That's more like it. Just look at you letting yourself be fooled by a woman. Let her get you drunk and tie you down like a great big baby. The great Carrasco. <laughs> Look who's calling names. Great Janus. <laughs> this is no time to argue, boy. Who is that? Donovan, son. His father was killed by the forces of law and order. You son of his father, huh? Another failure. You who? Uh, don't lose your head now, huh? And I advise you to watch your mouth, my fat Mexican friend. Because, uh... Who's a whole lot faster than you or me with a gun? Now let's get down to that yellow stuff they call gold. Where's Deborah? No idea. The devil take that bitch. But I suppose you'll remember if I uh, let you out of this bed, right? <laughs> yeah, I might. Who can tell? <laughs> 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 but remember, it's just like we began. Carrasco, Donovan, and Janice Saxon. We split three ways. Agreed. Yeah, okay, the three of us.
Senor Lieutenant, let us have a little rest, please. A pity at least for the children. You folks should have stayed in Mexico. Por qué? Our people are willing to work. Your people have miles to feed, sir, but we're taking you back. Now, you all get documents that are legal, and then the authorities at the border, they let you in. We'll just obey an order. Now, you people get moving. Go on, get! The Yankees will keep us all anyway. It is always the same. Save your brother, run, old man. Come on, get moving. Yes, sir. Keep moving there. Make sure they all cross that border, you hear? All right, back to port. Morning, ma'am. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Is this the right way to the bridge at San Miguel? I want to go to Juarez. Yes, the river's a mile straight ahead. The bridge is ten miles or so downstream and go easy on the horses. It's a hard road. Now, if you don't mind, ma'am, I'd like to see your documents. Certainly, Lieutenant. There you are. Everything seems to be in perfect order, ma'am. Thanks. Do you have any, any valuables to declare? I see with all the rumors going around about the war lately, there's a lot of scared citizens exporting currency illegally across the border. Now, that trunk, for instance. Uh, it only has, you know, clothes and a few personal odds and ends. I'm willing, of course, to show you everything you like, if you really insist. But to tell the truth, showing my intimate things to a perfect stranger is something I would find a little embarrassing. Well, I grew up in Alabama where a woman's word is sick. I wish you a pleasant journey, ma'am. Thanks, Lieutenant. Ah! Ah! Go along! Bye, ma'am. Delighted to see you again, my dear. We're not finished with each other yet. <laughs> oh, what a lovely big trunk. Don't I touch it. What's it. Don't touch that, I said. <laughs> Come on. Really too much for you to carry alone. <laughs> ah. oh. Shit. Someone's 
double cross us again. Yeah. No bet on it. Uh -huh. Just a minute. Uh, look, I know where to find the gold. I I'll go along. Huh? Don't leave me here. I know where the gold is. I can take you right to it. I promise. Wait. Wait. You can't leave me here like this. I hate you. This with his gold. They are all gold. Look, look, they are gold. <laughs> Just what I'm gonna do, you. I'll let it go. All you do is be wasting a bully. I mean, the gold's gone forever. Morning, gentlemen. Throw your weapons on the ground, you're under arrest. Who? Us? Uh, us. You stand accused of highway robbery and assaulting this lady here. To double eagles. That's the Miller account. The Abbott Ross Company, 10,000. 5,000 in silver deposited by the widow Matheson. We finished, Charlie. Go see who it is, but be careful. Afternoon. I want to see the manager immediately. Yes, sir. Come right in. You're my drive, I imagine. That's right, Lieutenant. I've been sent by the governor. I'm to transport the money from your bank to the army garrison to prevent it from falling in the hands of the enemy. Here are my orders, sir. Uh, you'll have to forgive me for receiving you with a gun in hand, but uh, the times being what they are, I'm sure you understand. Fortunately, we have our brave soldiers. Appears an order. Oh, the receipt form, please. Not that I doubt you, mind. I asked Governor Wheeler personally for army protection. I'll start loading, then. Yes, go right ahead. Corporal. Yes, sir, oh. Lieutenant, sir. Take that strong box to the wagon. Here you are, Lieutenant. Uh, may I have your name, please? Ja James Hillman. James Hillman. Now then, Lieutenant Hillman, if you'll just sign here and here. And that should take care of everything, I believe. Uh, 
Jenna, I'd like you to meet my fiance. Hmm. It surely is my pleasure, ma'am. Alan, are you actually handing over all your money to these, uh, to the military? Deborah, darling, I requested army protection yesterday afternoon. I have the orders right here. That's quite but... correct, ma'am. Be careful, my dear. You give us away and I'll tell him everything. Keep your mouth shut and you'll be happily married to a banker. <laughs> Deborah, the lieutenant's credentials are in perfect order. There's no reason to suspect him. Well, if you're convinced, why shouldn't I be? Of course. Gentlemen, duty calls me. Ma'am. Detail. Forward. March. Wait! Are you running faster? 